Welcome to another card tutorial. Keep watching to see how these two different versions of this card are made. Shown here and also linked below are all of the specific supplies that you'll need to make this card. The rhinestones are of course an optional component for both versions. However, I really like them and I think they add a lot of extra kind of pizzazz and sparkle to a rather simple black and white design. The first step in making both versions of this card is to take your pencil and base paper that you're using and simply draw out the design. Once you have everything drawn out in pencil, which essentially here is just the flower components of the card, take a thin black pen and trace over the pencil lines that you just previously drawn. Here I'm using my favorite Faber-Castell pen and this is in thickness F but really any thin pen that you have will work. And of course, a really easy way to change up the look of this card and customize the design would be to simply change the pen color that you're using. Once you've completed that, simply go in and remove any remaining pencil lines that were not covered by the pen with an eraser. And once that step is done, you're ready to add the rhinestones if you choose to do so. So I always start by laying them out on the card where I want them. And then once I have them in the spots that I want, I simply just take a fast drying glue and glue them all on. And once the glue is dry, version one of this card is complete. Keep watching to see how to make version two. The first step to make the birthday wishes version of this card is to simply take your pencil and draw in the text on top of this base design or kind of text-free card that you just previously made. This text is also included in the template that I have linked below. Once you have the text drawn out in pencil, all you need to do is continue on with the same pen that you used for the floral design and simply trace over all of the pencil lines that you just previously drawn. I started by outlining the word birthday and then I moved on to the word wishes and I first started by drawing the outline of the box that that word sits in and then I outlined the word and then I simply filled in the negative space of this box black to get that um, kind of background effect here and once you've completed that the second version of this card is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for two different versions of this floral design card.